Hi guys! As you probably can tell by the voice, this is not surprise toys inside. I'm her older sister. She's not feeling too good right now, so she asked me to do her reviews for her. So maybe for the next two videos, you'll hear my voice. But I've been helping out behind the scenes, so I kind of know how this goes. So today we're going to be doing a review on the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Surprisingly, we found these in our local dollar store called Dollarama. That's what it's called here in Canada. I'm not sure if they have Dollarama in other countries or in the United States, but you guys should really check your local dollar stores because sometimes you can find some really cool toys. So we got all four turtles and I'll show you the boxes. I think this is how she does it. And this is Michelangelo. And it says, Jokester and Hard Hitting Nunchuck Hero. And all four turtles are on the side of the box. And this is the back of the box, and it shows you all the characters that you can collect. So you can get Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, which we're doing right now, Shredder, Krang, Foot Soldier, Splinter, and April O'Neil. There's also a description on each box about each character. And if you guys want to pause the video, you can read that. And at the top of every box, it says, Mutated from ooze and raised in the way of ninjutsu by their rat sensei, Splinter. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are ready to venture outside their sewer lair to fight evil everywhere. So this is Michelangelo. You guys, thumbs up if I'm doing a good job. <laughs> okay, on to our next turtle, and this is Donatello. And his box is the same, except his paragraph, or his um, little description says, Inventor and Weaponeer. And on the back of his box, it's the same characters that you can collect. And his description, which you can also pause to read if you'd like. And the exact same description as Michelangelo. The next turtle we have is Raphael. And that's him inside his box. And it says, Raphael, hothead and sharp, sharp sigh expert. So I guess a sigh is his weapon. And the back of his box, the same thing. And his description, which you can also pause if you'd like so that you can read it. And our last turtle is Leonardo. And his says, leader and king of the katana swords. And same thing again. And his description that you could pause and read. Okay, so I'm going to take these out of the box and I'll be right back so we can see what they look like. Okay, I'm back guys and I got our little turtle friends out of their boxes. And I must say, these were definitely worth the $3. Okay, so what comes in every box is the actual turtle figure, this plastic sheet that's filled with the weapons that you just pop out, and a pamphlet. So the pamphlet has all the different things that you can collect from, I guess, this Ninja Turtles series. And they have masks and weapons that you could, you could actually wear full-size weapons that are made of plastic, of course. And they have plushies and vehicles. And they have different turtles. And they have villains. And they even have this, this tall secret sewer lair playset. That's kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of the one that uh, Monster High has for their dolls. So let's get on to these turtles. So this is the um, little plastic sheet and you could just pop out the weapons. I definitely ask an adult to help because it's kind of hard to like pull them off. 
got to use a lot of force. So an adult would definitely help to get those off. And I pulled some of them off so that you guys can see. So our first um, turtle is Donatello. And he has these circular weapons that I pulled off in his hands. And his, I'm not sure what this is called, but um, it could be removed. And you could just put it in his back and that's also his weapon. I think that's his main weapon that he uses. And they're very movable and poseable. They move at the, the knees, at the top of their legs, their arms, their wrists, and their head moves too, all the way around. And their little um, bandana thing is like a soft plastic, so that can also move too. So that's pretty cool. So this is Donatello. And I love that they all come in like a different shade of green. Next we have Raphael. Don't tell it doesn't want to stand up. We have Raphael. And he also comes with his weapons. He has a whole lot of different choices that you can choose from. And he has his main weapons in his hands. I think these are called size, maybe? Correct me if I'm wrong. And he is very poseable also. Moves at all his joints. And look at his, his smile. <laughs> That's kind of like a mean smile, like, don't mess with me. And he also has weapons that I took off and put in the back and these are removable as well and he could hold those if you'd like so that's Donatello or not Donatello Raphael sorry oh, let's fix him so he could stand up again next we have Leonardo And his weapons, his main weapons, I put in the back. And these could be removed as well. These were on that sheet thing. Are his katana swords. And you can remove these and put these in his hands if you want to. But I decided just to put them in the back so that you guys can see that they fit in there. And I put these little, I'm not sure what these are called, these little dagger things. I put in his hands. And he moves as well. And his little bandana is soft and movable as well also and they have these little finger things good detailings of what they wear around their hands when they're fighting and they have elbow pads and knee pads and this strap around their waist to hold their weapon thing onto their turtle shell quite cool i love these especially for the price you guys make sure you check your dollar stores because you never know what you can find in there. And I'm so happy that we found these. And last but not least, and my favorite turtle, Michelangelo. So I took these off of his sheet of weapons. And it's these little star weapons I put in his hands. And his main weapon, his nunchucks, I put in his back. And these also could be removed if you want to put these in his hands, but I put them back there just so that you guys can see that they could fit. But yeah, that's Michelangelo. And he's like a, a light green. So, this was my review for you guys. I hope you guys don't mind that I did it instead of surprise. Um, my favorite turtle, like I said, was Michelangelo. You guys let me know which one was your favorite. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye!